Hello, hello guys. Welcome to E T O O Twenty One Twenty Four. How are you guys doing? Doing good. I hope so. Today we would be learning about food phrases in English. So watch this video until the end. All right. With that of an intro, let's jump into our lesson. So the first phrasal verb here we would be learning today is dig in. Here, as you can see, I'm lining it with the red line so you can see. Dig in. Dig in. The meaning of dig in means to eat food. To eat food. Or example. Example here. Jack, come and dig in. So that means someone is telling Jack to come and eat his food, to come and dig it in. All right, the second phrasal verb is wolf down. Here it is, wolf down. So wolf down is a little bit confusing when you think about the meaning, but it means to eat food very quickly. To eat food very quickly. So when someone eat food very quickly, you could say. Don't wolf down, please. Like for example, I don't like wolfing down. Example. Yesterday, I wolf down. Yesterday, I wolf down because I was really hungry. You can say like that. Yesterday, I or someone wolf down, ate quickly because she or he was very hungry. All right, let's move on to the next page. So here is the next page, phrase number three and four. So the third phrasal verb is eat like a bird. To eat like a bird means to eat very small, to eat very small amount of food. To eat very small amount of food, you could say eat like a bird. Eat like a bird. Sorry for that. Example: Alex, don't eat like a bird. Alex, don't eat like a bird. Like you're telling Alex to not eat very small amount of food. That looks greedy. Don't do that, guys. All right. So big fish. So this word is important to use, and the meaning actually means important. Big fish. Big fish means an important person. Like, who is your important person for you? Your father, your mother, your brother. Who? Example: My father is a big fish for me. My father is a big fish for me. My mother is a big fish for me. You could say whatever. You, who is your big fish? Like your friend or anybody. All right. So here is phrasal. Here is phrase phrase number five and six. Here, as you can see it. So the fifth one is small fish. Oh,、uh, pig out, pig out. So pig out means to eat very big amount of food. You know, to eat very big amount of food. Example, example here, as you can see. I usually pig out when I am hungry. So I usually pig out, or he usually pig out. Anybody usually pig out when they are hungry. Do you guys pig out when you're hungry? Oh, really? Yeah, me neither. All right. The eighth one is very nice. I really like it. So it means what's popping. What is popping? So this doesn't mean. What is popping like a balloon? It means what's up? What's up? Is there a new thing? Hello, bro. What's up? Example here. You could say, "What is popping, mate? What is popping, mate?" All right. The second page is, "What is cooking?" Here, "What is cooking?" It means also the same as the last one. What's up? Example. Example. What is cooking, bro? What is cooking, bro? So you could say like that, and this one is really the last one, and you could say, "Come and get in." 
come and get in. It means to eat. Example. Kids, dinner is ready. Come and get it. That means the mother or the father is telling the kids to come and get their food, to come and eat their food. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. This is what I oh, arranged for you. I hope you like this video and will get some little knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, guys. Did you do it? You do it? All right, then. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time in another video.